In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for IO2 minus. This is the iodite ion. Let's count the valence electrons up and then draw the structure. So iodine group 17, sometimes called 7A, seven valence electrons. Oxygens in group 16, it has six, but we have two oxygens. And the negative up here, that means we have an extra electron. So we're gonna add one more electron there. So seven plus 12, that's 19 plus one, 20 total valence electrons for the IO2 minus Lewis structure. We'll put iodine in the center of our Lewis structure. It's the least electronegative element here, and then an oxygen on either side. So we have 20 valence electrons. We'll put two here and form the chemical bond. So we've used four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and then 20. And this seems like a pretty good Lewis structure. Everything has an octet. We could put brackets around it like this here to show that it's an ion and put a negative sign. But this is not the best Lewis structure for the iodite ion. The reason is, if we look at the formal charges here, this oxygen here is negative one. Same over here, they're the same. And the iodine in the center, that's a positive one. And we'd really like our formal charges to be as close to zero as possible, or in this case, as close to the charge on the ion as possible. So we'd like to have a negative one. If we formed a double bond, let's move these two here, right here. So now this oxygen has a formal charge of zero. The iodine, it has a formal charge of zero. This oxygen here still has a formal charge of minus one. That's okay, because the overall ion has a one minus ionic charge. So this is the best structure for the iodite ion, where we have this double bond between the oxygen and the iodine, and then a single bond here. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for IO2 minus. Thanks for watching.